What is up you guys? It's your boy the real Tundra here, aka King Tundra. And I just gotta say this because this is probably gonna be the most craziest thing ever. And I do want to start off by saying shout out to everybody who's been subscribing to the channel, supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. But what I want to talk about first and foremost is that Kendrick Lamar has removed all copyright strikes according to No Life Shack, who was actually getting a million to two million views on each diss track from Drake and Kendrick. And he went on to say that, you know, Kendrick Lamar ended up removing people's copyrights so they would be able to make money off of it, which I think is probably the most coolest thing, you know, ever. And I do believe that that's the way things should be. And, you know, it can open up the door because when you really think about it, it is, you know, they, they need they need an audience, you know, they need people with a good fan base you know to react to their music or their stuff and it's like if you're copywriting people you know their audiences you know they're, they're not watching it they can't give an opinion they might not even go listen to it but when you make it to where you know you're not copywriting people you know in their fan bases will actually listen to it like for instance the beef was so good that it even brought back Zs and Bilu to react to it um i believe flight also was reacting to it and i'm just like the it's it's just so so incredible but let's talk about drake versus k dot kung fu kenny kendrick lamar the beef was just crazy we didn't even really want this beef we really wanted j cole versus kendrick lamar but wisely enough j cole dropped out and you know i can't really even blame j cole at this point because it's like you're gonna get into a rap beef with well not even a beef because they're not even beefing with you know j cole and kendrick lamar it's more so rap competition and for years we have been talking about who is the better rapper and lyricist j cole or kendrick lamar and with j cole dropping out it kind of just made a lot of people in the in the, like in the industry and us rap fans you know quite upset because with me growing up in the early 90s um i'm an early 90s baby so we had guys like tupac biggie and then it went on you know nas jay-z and before nas and jay-z it was ice cube versus nwa or easy -E. and we get a chance to get somebody you know as good as gucci main versus young jeezy but and then we get kendrick lamar versus j cole but again after everything that's been going down we can actually understand why j cole dropped out and it's a good thing that j cole dropped out because the beef did kind of get out of hand with personal business being in exposed like dre going after kendrick lamar's family and all that and now kendrick lamar has to retaliate while bringing up the allegations of drake's alleged um i'm just gonna say grooming you know and if you have seen like the videos and the interviews especially the one with the millie bobby brown i'm not even gonna post that um clip because a lot of other channels have been posting that clip and have been talking about it and of course you know there is the one from years ago when drake had a under underage girl up there i'm not even going to blame drake for that because chances are drake probably didn't know she was underage but it was the fact that drake continued to talk to her and mention how good and how thick she is like how, how good looking she is how thick she is and he even went on to say something I I don't know why he would end up saying it which was how her breast felt good up against his chest and it just makes people look at Drake a certain way and the whole thing was just crazy it was it was definitely out of control and as far as the rap beef go I will say this I don't know if a lot of people have been giving Drake credit because of the whole rap you know him not being 
well not being but him not writing his raps it was the very first time I knew that there was something going on between K-Dot and um, Drake because I didn't even know that they had anything going on until all the allegations of Drake not writing his raps and then one of my favorite songs from Kendrick Lamar being King Kunta you know when Kendrick rapped the line of you know most of y'all share most of y'all share boss like he got the bottom bunk in a two-man cell and the other line of um, I can dig rapping but a rapper with a ghostwriter what the F happened and I'm just like oh he's talking about Drake because the whole allegations thing you know but I will say this I'm not sure if Drake was actually writing his lyrics but it could be that this time Drake was writing his lyrics because you know it does sound like Drake was writing it or maybe Drake probably did get some help but we all know Kendrick Lamar does write his raps but I will give credit Drake held his own against Kendrick Lamar more than I thought he would but the part where Drake lost me at was Drake knew he's not gonna out rap Kendrick Lamar I mean Kendrick Lamar is probably the greatest lyricist of this generation with his only competition probably being j cole but we didn't get that we didn't get to see who would finally be the best lyricist out of the two but we ended up did getting this one but drake is not gonna out rap kendrick so what he decided to do was he decided to outsmart kendrick and i will get credit you know outsmarting kendrick is definitely probably a plus two to a lot of people's eyes and it worked but the problem is where drake ended up losing in my opinion where he ended up losing was the fact that drake wasn't on kendrick's head top like kendrick was on drake's head top like kendrick was dropping track after track after track and with his song they not like us oh my gosh bro it had everybody going crazy to the point where even when drake admitted that it was all false information that they fed to him nobody cared everybody was still chanting ov ho and i even did a poll um days ago where i wanted to see who was winning this rap beef out of drake or kendrick lamar and when i tell you out of the 809 voters only four percent voted drake and I will say this, it was not 4% before, it was 5%, which means somebody literally changed their vote and they voted for Kendrick Lamar. And I thought that was, I ain't gonna lie, I thought that was just crazy because I didn't think you can, you know, really change, take your vote back. But somebody really did, they took their vote back and they voted for Kendrick Lamar. And... I also want to give a big shout out to um, Back Bitch Animations for letting me use their, you know, their uh, clip that they posted on the shorts, their, their short clip. And I had to email them and they gave me permission to use their, um, their clip, the one with the Chris Brown and the, uh, Kendrick Lamar. So shout out to Back Bitch Animations for you know, letting me use their, their shorts on mine. It was I really did appreciate it. That was the first time any other content creator reached out. And um, a lot of people in that Kendrick Lamar um, shorts, if you go look at the comments, everybody's saying Kendrick, Kendrick, Kendrick. With only a couple people probably saying Drake. <laughs> but in my opinion, the, the rap beef was very, very much needed for the culture. It brought a lot of eyes. And like I said, Shout out to Kendrick Lamar for removing people's copyright, you know, strikes and everything and letting them actually make a profit off of, you know, his music and the beef. And I just like I said, I thought that was probably the most amazing thing ever. And I can see that if it was J. Cole versus Kendrick, I feel like J. Cole would have did the exact same thing as Kendrick Lamar. You know, we are bringing attention. So 
why not let these creators who was also bringing attention to this and putting their inputs on this and making it a lot bigger why not let them make a profit off of it not just us you know we got money let them make their money too and again i just think that was us an incredible thing that kendrick lamar did and this beef was not wanted but it was needed now i want to know what you guys think let me know down in the comment section below who do you think won this rap beef drake or kendrick lamar and explain to me why as i will be replying to people in the comment sections and this has been your boy the real tundra aka king tundra and i'm out peace